guests who make the perfect party. Oh. I believe you all know Monsignor Ryan. He's come to have a bit of supper with us. And drop a hint or two about the new cathedral. <laughs> Being familiar with Mrs. McGlone's punch, I thought it the perfect opportunity. <laughs> Where do you plans build, Monsignor? Well, I had my heart set on Pennsylvania Avenue, but the J.J. Browns bought it all up. <laughs> oh, that, Mrs. Brown. It isn't safe to stroll the avenue anymore. Literally pops out of the bushes. Oh. Poor creature is friendly. Did you know that every afternoon she has a proper tea sent up from the Brown Palace Hotel? There she sits on a keg of nails, pouring for the workmen. C'est ridicule, n'est-ce pas? Have you met her, Monsignor? No, I haven't had the pleasure. However, I do see her and Mr. Brown every morning at Mass. Oh, I'm sure they're good souls. <laughs> But it's too bad they didn't acquire a little savoir faire before coming to Denver. Oh, Mrs. McGlone, if your folks, if any of our folks, had stayed in the hills till they acquired a little savoir faire, there'd be no city of Denver. <laughs> True. Old guard were colorful. But, Monsignor, things are much quieter now. Owner of the little Johnny, it's the richest mine in the United States. I am so glad you shake your hand. Mon Dieu, quieter, did I say? Lapis, you didn't send her an invitation. Hardly. Who would read it to her? <laughs> Excuse me. <-moi. sighs> Hello there. Molly Brown's the name. There you be, neighbor. We's the ones building the little shack next door. And you don't have to tell me who you are. You're the beautiful people of Denver. Beautiful people of Denver. Willy wee ladies, billy wee gals. And you smell so nice. We dined out, must have been half past eight. We ate catfish off of a silver plate. Soup, two nuts, even a bowl of fruit. What you call table de hoot. Beautiful people of Denver, beautiful people of Denver. Whipperty gentlemen, flipperty talk, and look at them scissor tail coats. No one laughs, everyone smiles instead. Don't say back house, say the shed. No one speaks, lest they ain't spoken to. Oh hell, I ain't proud. How do you do? Beautiful people of Denver, beautiful people of Denver. Never a dog fight, never a brawl, never a knife or a gun. <laughs> Sunday night, there is a concert band. Every man carries his gloves in hand. Then they smoke under the silvery moon. No one spits without a spittoon. <laughs> Beautiful people of Denver, beautiful people of Denver. Aren't any gussies, floozies, or hussies, never a girl with a bun. How you dance over to Brown's Hotel. Gent Street ladies, very well. Hold you loose during the minuet. Just in case somebody sweats. Beautiful people of Denver. Beautiful people of Denver, here we are to stay. How do you do, Mrs. Brown? Great. To tell you the truth, though, the Denver water's a little hard on the kidneys, but we love it here. Oh, you got such a gorgeous place. Hey, Mr. Brown, meet your hostess. We was out for a walk and we saw your lights was on, so we thought we'd drop in and shake a few hands. This here is Mr. Brown, owner of the Little Johnny. It's the richest mine in the United States. Shake hands with Mr. McClone. How do you do, Mr. Brown? May I present Monsignor Ryan? Hello there, Monsignor. I am sure glad to make your acquaintance. Boy, you spout a hell of a sermon. <laughs> you have such nice things here. Oh, did you see my new purse? Here's $5,000 for your new church. $5,000? God bless you, Mrs. Brown. 
God bless you. It'll see you into heaven. It might grease the slide a little. <laughs> what are you standing there for, Mr. Brown? Match my 5,000 or show a little class and double it. Oh, oh sure. <laughs> Already took over 10 million out of God's green earth. I guess he deserves a little kickback. <laughs> Uh, one thousand, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand. So, sorry, Mom Senior, it's all in ones. <laughs> Fifteen thousand dollars. God bless you both. Think nothing of it. Once it took twenty times that just to warm JJ's backside. <laughs> oh, you got such a gorgeous place here. Them pictures as you come in have the goldest frames I ever seen. Yes, the frames are gold, but the pictures are Rembrandt's. Well, that Mr. Rembrandt can really put on the paint. <laughs> Mrs. Brown, true celebrities are referred to by their last names only. Rembrandt, Shakespeare, Tchaikovsky. The James Boys. <laughs> yes. Oh, I've seen a picture of your new piano. I've never seen one so gorgeous. Thank you. That's my new Rosewood Vidimir from Germany. Only one west of the Mississippi. My goodness. Well, come on, honey. You play us a tune. Oh, I, I don't play, Mrs. Brown. You're bullying me. A box like that and you mean to say you can't handle it. Woman, that is a sin. Maestro Gardella has come all the way from Milan, Italy, to be with us this evening to christen my new Rosewood Vidimir. I must thank you again, Mrs. Brown and Mr. Brown. You're far too generous. Roberts? Supper is served. A maestro? A tutelure, madame. Huh? Uh, that is French, Mrs. Brown. French? French is it? Honey, she will have to put it to me 